The rear fuselage provided the accommodation for the aircraft's ancillary equipment. The radio and radio power source, the identify friend and foe equipment, the master contactor, oxygen tank and de-icing tank. The flying controls of the whirlwind were not operated by cable and pulleys. The whirlwind utilised large diameter push-pull tubes. A number of radio fits were employed in the whirlwind. Early models had the TD-9 equipment, superseded by the VHF TR-1133A, in itself displaced by the TR-1143 sets. The Whirlwind Fighter Project reproduction of P7056, being a late production model, was fitted with the TR-1143. Identifiable by the forward placement of the mast and the absence of the aerial leak. Examples of both the TR-1133 and the TR-1143 are extremely rare. In this regard, the Whirlwind Fighter Project produced a series of 3D models, then commissioned replica radio and its dynamometer from a 3D printing specialist. The Whirlwind Fighter Project has original examples of the R3003 identified friend or foe equipment. The radio and dynamotor sat on a removable trolley system that runs on top of the transverse radio bearers. The trolley runs on rollers attached to the rear end of the trolley that in itself sits atop of the bearers. Roller stops for locating and securing the trolley being attached to the bearers port side ends. The starboard end of the trolley was fitted with a spring loaded bar locking and release mechanism which secured the trolley. On release the trolley could be lifted and rolled out through the radio hatch. As previously mentioned in video 2 of the fuselage, the radio hatch door also contained a hinged information flap. After much research, the Whirlwind Fighter Project now has the information that was contained there. Much to the team's surprise, the information has nothing to do with any of the radio equipment fitted. It is rigging information regarding the restrictions on which of the removable airframe panels could be detached from the aircraft and in which order. Like the radio equipment, the Whirlwind Fighter Project produced a series of 3D models for the signal of the day discharge unit, again commissioning a 3D printed replica. The large diameter elevator and rudder control tubes run in a set of roller support guides located on the transverse half bulkhead located halfway along the rear fuselage. The forward lower starboard side of the fuselage just below the radio fit housed the high pressure pilot 75 litre oxygen tank. Opposite the oxygen tank sat the Dunlop propeller de-icing equipment consisting of a one gallon tank, electric motor and pump with its control system connected to the rear stat in the starboard cockpit side. Special consideration has been given to the assembly of the fuselage to the cockpit section. Of particular note being there are no horizontal datums contained within the rear fuselage. In this regard, much work has been undertaken in the manufacture of the tail fin spar and associated fittings. The tail fin plate spar also forms 
the rear connection of the fuselage and tail structure. The tail fin has been part manufactured to a point of fitting to the fuselage. This section will be taken with the fuselage and temporary fitted to ensure the correct vertical alignment of the fin, fuselage and cockpit sections. The Whirlwind Fighter Project is a not-for-profit charity run by a dedicated group of volunteers. If you feel you can assist in the project's aim of creating a complete reproduction of this lost iconic World War II fighter, please visit our website and Facebook page for details. Also, visit our active partner and home of P7056, the Kent Battle of Britain Museum Trust at Hawkinge. Many thanks for watching.